Hello, in this Pixar Vlogs video tutorial, you'll learn how to use the new Random Tiles engine. The Random Tiles engine takes as input a set of images and distributes them in a seamless, tileable random pattern. The Random Tiles engine is used by two nodes, Random Tiles, which generates a single image, and Material Random Tiles, which takes a material and a height image as input and generates a material set with height blending and distribution. For this tutorial, we'll use this set of autumn leaves, downloaded from cgbookcase.com and assembled as sprites in Pixaflogs. You can download these images from the link provided in the description. Drag and drop the autumn leaves 4x4 albedo image. Add a random tiles node. The random tiles node takes as input an image with the tile sprites and distributes them in a seamless way on the output image. Set the number of input tiles to 4x4. There are two distribution algorithms, grid, which places the tiles in a rectangular grid pattern, and Poisson, which distributes the tiles in a random pattern that guarantees that no two tiles are closer than a defined radius. The iterations attribute controls how hard it tries to find a new position, packing more tiles. Notice how the size of the tiles is proportional to the distribution. The scale attribute scales the tiles from the size given by the distribution. The random attributes randomize the individual tiles. Mask randomizes the visibility. Rotation Scale Translation Flip. This randomizes the transform of the tiles. Hue, saturation, value. This randomizes the colors of the tiles. The seat spinner seats all random attributes and generates a new image. I'll duplicate this node and increase its size to show you how the engine allows you to work on a low resolution image. And as long as the aspect ratio is maintained, Increase the size without losing the current tiles distribution. Now let's use the Material Random Tiles node to show how height affects the output. Add a Material Reader node and populate it with the albedo, Normal, Roughness, and Height Images. Set Metalness to 0. Set Height to 0.2. Add a Material Random Tiles node and set the input number of tiles to 4x4. Let's make this a Poisson distribution. Randomize. Add a Material Split node to review the material images. The Material Random Tiles node uses the alpha of the first RGBA image to control the opacity of all the images. The height of the tiles is used to blend the images. We can see some leaves intersecting with others. The Tile Baker organizes the tiles in a stack to avoid the intersections. And the Stack attribute moves them up or down. Notice how as the tiles move up on the stack, we see fewer intersections. The Material Random Tiles node can take a height image as input to simulate the ground where the tiles are laying on. Add a Perlin Noise node and check Auto Level. Connect it as the height input. Let's review the height of the material with different Perlin seeds. The deform attribute deforms the tiles to conform them to the ground.
The form and stack can be combined to avoid intersections. Let's use a material tile to make sure all material channels are seamless. All good. These are the new random tiles and material random tiles node. Thank you for watching this Pixablogs video tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in Twitter and Facebook.